indicated that it was a, a significant step forward uh, than what has been in the past. Uh, in related uh, issue of tax uh, uh, advantages, we're creating three or creating two and adjusting one management district. Uh, uh, could you tell us the difference between a management district, a MUD, and a TERS, just in case people... Well, I mean, when you start talking about a management district, you're talking about a membership assessment, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and pretty much the, uh, the assessments are approved by the legislature. Mm -hmm. you, uh, and they are not term limited, so to speak. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about uh, TERS, uh, these are, uh, their revenue is more tax related, mm -hmm. um, and they are term, you know, mm -hmm. they, they don't last forever, okay? Uh, so it's, it's, these are two different, two different entities. In some cases, you have an area that has a management district as well as a TERS. I think the East End may be one, where there's a management district as well as a TERS. So if they're two different entities, um, in many ways they're supposed to complement one another. Thank you. Mayor, last month you sketched yes. out changes that you would like to see in the Department of Neighborhoods. Yes. Um, can you give us an update on, on where you are in that uh, the process of you know, streamlining and clearing the backlog and, and when we can expect to see an announcement about the, yeah. the final revamp? And we start, you know, started um, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and taking a, a deep dive, a deep look at the uh, Department of Neighborhoods. Uh, I did bring the Department of Neighborhoods together along with uh, Public Works, City Legal, uh, HIT, similar to what I did on the on the Pothole Street Initiative, which worked extremely well, and wanted to utilize that same model for the Department of Neighborhoods. Um, when we took when I took a deep dive, uh, what I discovered is that there were many, let's say, um, um, citations. Is that the, is that the right word? Citation that had been given, but it was a it was a significant <coughs> backlog. Um, in some cases, more than ten thousand backlog um, and in, in many different categories. So the first thing that we what we have done is gone through and addressed the backlog. Uh, those things that have been that should have been closed out that were still open, we had to go through and address all of that. Uh, the other was to create a system where, where they were communicating with one another between public works, uh, mayor's assistance office, city legal, and so we have, uh, so HIT hits is working, has been working on um, streamlining a system where it can be a lot more transparent. Just like on the street program, you can tell that um, it's, you know, uh, the, the potholes have been assessed 95% of our next business day, you can look at it. Um, we didn't necessarily have a, as, um, a, a website that was as transparent, so they've been working on that. The third thing is just in terms of the leadership because it takes the leadership to really provide the execution and the implementation, um, and that was lacking. So I was having a difficult time bringing it out and laying it out because there were some leadership issues. Um, and that's where Takasha Francis comes into play. Uh, because in many, in many instances, uh, an inspector may go out, they may see uh, uh, a home where there may be three or four vehicles in the yard or, or weeds where they're not in uh, compliance, but the paperwork hadn't been sufficiently completed when it was sent over to legal. And so legal was having to do some things that the inspector should have been done. Uh, and that was creating a, a bottleneck. Um, so I needed, to, I needed to get the right person as the director of the Department of Neighborhoods. Um, Takasha Francis, I believe, is the right person. She's a native Houstonian. She's familiar with the neighborhoods. At the same time, she's also a young attorney. She's been with the office, attorney general's office. She's been in private practice. And so she then provides the nexus between the 32 inspectors that are in the Department of Neighborhoods and city legal. And I think she is a, a, a key person to be able to know whether or not they have done, exhausted all of their means, the inspectors, to get people to be compliant. And what I don't want people, I don't want the inspectors to do, I don't want them just to go out there and, and write tickets, write people up just to be writing them up. I want them to find out, you know, what is the problem? How can we help them to get compliant, voluntary compliance? And there may be other issues. It may be an issue that needs to be sent over to public works, or it may be an issue that needs to be sent to the mayor's assistance office. 
but not just going out and writing tickets for the sake of writing tickets. She understands that. And so once she is squarely on board, then I'm going to bring her in, bring all of these entities back together again, HIT, Public Works, City Legal, um, Mayor's Assistance, and, and then I believe she then will be instrumental in streamlining the operation and the people in the Department of Neighborhoods will know who they should be reporting to. I think she can provide the leadership that, that I perceive was lacking and it was very difficult to roll out something. And you had indicated previously that you might want to peel away certain divisions from the Department of Neighborhoods, make it more decentralized. Do you still intend on doing that? Yes. And if so, where would you place those? For example, divisions? under the Department of Neighborhoods, you got the anti-gang units, for example. Um, you've got uh, the refugee affairs. The anti-gang unit, I, I would tell you, I haven't finished the structure, but you know, since you asked me, I'll give you my thoughts. Um, the anti-gang unit, for example, would be a better fit under, under the department, under uh, Julius Depecht with education. Okay. So that's being moved out and will be put based on her. There will be some other alignments that are in the Department of Neighborhoods that I think will be fit in other areas. What I want the Department of Neighborhoods to do is focus on the Department of Neighborhoods. Okay. Not, not all these other ancillary peripheral sort of matters just on the Department of Neighborhoods and getting compliant. So some of those other entities that are falling underneath the Department of Neighborhoods, I am peeling away and putting someplace else. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor, Sir. Uh, yeah. 